Good morning, everyone. So uh, we had a lot going on in 2023. This is actually going to cover a couple of slides. I'm not going to read this all to you. You can go check these all offline. Um, we had a, co a couple of releases um, this year, and we have another release that will be coming out in um, basically next week. Uh, so um, earlier this year in uh, 2023, we had 125 and 125A. Um, that these came out, uh, we released these concurrently with the Redfish, RF, Redfish. Um, it, and as the, we do occasionally come out with concurrent releases, um, and that's because a lot of the functionality we release, Swordfish, is an extension of Redfish. Uh, we use a lot of their functionality, and then we release the, sort, the sort storage-specific extensions. Um, so if we have functionality that needs to go out, um, that's in the base functionality, they release it, we release concurrently to, to um, get the functionality all out at once. And uh, so those, what, that's why we do those concurrent releases. Um, 125, 125A added expanded support for a bunch of NVMe specific functionality um, and some other stuff. So uh, in that NVMe, we moved uh, the NVMe functionality up to MASH, um, version 2.0c of NVMe and NVMe over fabrics functionality. Um, we also added a bunch of additional capabilities, uh, metrics um, for volumes, drives, storage controllers. Um, and then on the NVMe side, uh, smart metrics, um, NVMe OF discovery controllers. And we did a bunch of presentations and others uh, supporting that over the uh, throughout the year. So if you want to see um, what that looks like, there's a bunch of webcasts and, and the like that you can go look and see what that looks like. Um, there's a bunch of documentation as well. The user's guide covers use cases and there's mockups on Swordfish, mockups.com that covers um, details. You can see smart metrics, discovery controllers, um, and other behaviors of that. Um, these all also pass um, Swordfish CTP. Um, in version 126 coming out, there's also going to be a new NVMe OF white paper. We are also adding additional metrics that cover a bunch of other configurations like file systems, storage pools, or services, um, and some new uh, additional um, enhancements for volume metrics. Um, we're also updating and changing our mapping and masking models um, somewhat on the request of Redfish, but also for, for more consistency with some, um, uh, some of the fabric models there. Um, so we're deprecating the storage groups model, the legacy model, and um, consolidating to the connections model there. Um, and some other, a bunch of other functionality. Uh, moving on. Um, we've created the uh um well we can skip that one um we all the, on there the only thing we really did was submitted um we're continuing to submit some things to uh um have a release constantly in the pipe to iso so 125 uh has went through iso and um uh next slide um, we continue to collaborate with a lot of industry partners, um, so and internally and externally, um, NVM, NVM Express and DMTF for a lot of the work and with OFA, and we are continuing to look at some other groups, um, SODA, and uh, have already started, uh, we expect to start discussions with uh, additional groups like UEC this year. Next. Um, just a quick snapshot of all the groups. Um, we have three, we could, every year we kind of highlight the bottom down here, um, three new groups that ha have uh, uh, joined this year, Micron, Celestica, and Google. Um, and uh, next slide. Um, you know, manageability is one of those things that is very persistent and pervasive. Um, every other group you talk to today, um, there are manageability aspects. Uh, so, um, you know, Swordfish is kind of a key cornerstone for all of the other things that we work through on all of the pieces for um, for uh, server storage and fabric-based management. Um, so for standards-based storage management, uh, who participates? Everyone needs to participate. Storage vendors, clients, application management. Um, we have a, a plug fest planned in with a Redfish and Swordfish plug fest planned in in April, if you have not been engaged, uh, please uh, 
look at, reach out and talk to us and I'll wrap it up there. Thank you.